Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from XDA. In today's new video, I'll be showing off my top three substrative themes of the month. These three themes have each have got their own different personalities and each of them are gonna make your phone look incredible no matter which one you go for. I love what the designers has done to each one of them. So without any further ado, let us begin with today's new video. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know that your phone does require the Substratum app in order to apply any of these themes. And if you're not too sure what Substratum is, then I definitely recommend you check the link in the description to find out more. But our first theme we have right here is the Flux theme by Gianni SGX89, a theme you may be familiar with if you've ever themed your phone using CyanogenMod Mod back in the day. This dark clean theme comes with everything you'd expect from a premium paid theme but it's the way this designer keeps everything consistent that makes this theme so appealing. Your two primary colors, black and blue, travel throughout the entire theme and they do so with ease. So if you're not a fan of the dark, you might wanna go check out some other themes. I'm hoping that the Flux White variant will be available in the future, but I'm still blown away at what Gianni can do with these two colors. Another consistency are those circular icons. These are seen everywhere, all from the power menu to the quick settings and even the regular settings as well. The quick settings coming with a drop shadow as well to those icons and it looks incredible. I also really enjoy the font that comes with this pack simply titled Flux Font. It's very similar to say Arial Round so it actually goes well with the entire theme especially with those icons. Overall, a great theme that comes with a great looking boot animation, notification tones, a few wallpapers. But overall, if you're a fan of dark themes, I really recommend you go try it out today. Next up is Gravy by Ya Creates, which also used to be a Cyanogen mod theme, but it's now found its way over to Substratum, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited about. It's a theme that might put a lot of people off though, due to its strikingly bold design. And I mean bold design. But for those select few who are tired of the simple themes you see from everyday use, this one is for you. Off the bat, you get a huge range of color options to choose from, and you also get the dark and light variants. So you can pretty much mix and match your colors to your heart's content. You also get a choice of navigation bar icons, which I really enjoy, and they've all got that bold edgy feel to them. This then flows into the quick settings menu, where that curve tool I guess has been left out, and it's great. Popular apps also receive that same bold treatment, which I like because the designer has put a lot of effort into each one, especially with the icons, and it shows. It really does show. Next, we're gonna have to talk about the theme's most noticeable feature, its font. Honestly, I think it's gonna be the biggest deal breaker or deal maker. It's extremely bold and it's everything's uppercase, so it might put a lot of people off, but of course you don't have to apply the exact font, you can always just use your own. But honestly, I think it complements the theme extremely well and really does offer a fresh new approach to different themes. Sharp and punchy, from its colors to its fonts, Gravy is an immense, intense theme, which I recommend to anyone who wants something different from their theming lives. And lastly, we have Coalfield by Coalwork, which also used to be a Sanogen mod theme and is now on a Substratum. I think there's a trend approaching here, but honestly, most of you watching this video might already have this theme. If not, you're missing out, and I definitely recommend you download it right away. But let's look at those details, and I'd say probably the biggest feature with Coalfield, like many of Coalwork's themes, is that it's attention to detail. This guy's put in some extreme effort and work into this theme, and you'll notice it straight away when we simply unlock your phone into those substrates and overlay settings. Color options here are plentiful, but not just any colors, colors that have a pastel vibe to them that straight away make your phone feel more personal. Your navigation bar, those quick settings, the power menu, the volume panel, and many of your popular apps have all been transformed, making them all look so much better. The theme also comes with its own boot animation, notification sounds, and a whole bunch of wallpapers to choose from, which all look really, really good, and I definitely approve. And I definitely recommend you grab it today, or at least wait for it on sale, as it's honestly one of the best themes I've ever seen, and definitely worth a try. So thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you're currently using Substratum, I'd love to know what theme you're using in the comment section below. Other than that, it's Marco here from XDA. Thanks very much guys for watching and I'll see you around next time.